guys, welcome to a quick walkthrough of my latest template. So again, a walkthrough, not a full tutorial. Should you have any questions about the template, uh, any in-depth questions, uh, do leave a comment below, then I'll try my best to explain it. It's a walkthrough because I wanted to be a bit fast. I've got a lot on my plate right now. So uh, there you go. So let's open it up first and let's have a quick look. So this is the overall comp file. It's a, a fairly big file and it's a bit slow as well, especially if you're on a slow computer. I'm on my laptop right now, which is not uh, very fast. So uh, that, that shows. Uh, first thing you wanna do is go into the text plus node. We can display it here. And you need to ensure that the font or that you have selected the font that you've got installed i.e. the one it comes with, the template, may not be on your system. In fact, it's very likely, so do change it here to whatever you like. And of course, change the text to whatever you like. Uh, and the size. Uh, all you need to do is to ensure that it fits on the screen. Second important thing in the context here is to ensure that this here, sort of the animated mask, will fit the text. So at the start, it needs to start before the text starts at right, line here and at the end you need to ensure that it covers the whole thing because otherwise the animation won't work so if you've got a slightly longer text you may need to tweak the parameters here you can do it for instance in the spline editor go to the width parameter show there and then you can play with it over here uh, next one up is the background I'm showing it here. It is just a placeholder and it's a rather ugly color, I think. So we need to replace that ugly type of background with something uh, nice. So something like a nice paper, old paper background. And I found this nice one online and I'll uh, put the link down below the video. And let's add it in here. Well, let's remove this and let's pipe that in here. All right, and if we show that, then that looks already pretty darn good. All right straight out of the box. Now, if your file is of a different size than 1920 times 1080, uh, you may need to put in a resize node, a crop node, etc. right? Um, so the overall flow then, once you've got this all sorted, uh, for those interested, it will be very, very brief. So the first box here, the first underlay is really all about the main flow, how the text gets uh, animated onto this piece of paper. Now, once that's done, and you know, it is just a bit intricate, it has got some uh, fast noise stuff. That's of course uh, the animated mask coming in. It has a trills node as well. Um, and you gotta be careful if you're playing around with this, this you may need to reset from time to time as you would normally need to do with a trills node. So just bear it in mind. Um, then we've got some stains that get added here. Uh, you may not be able to see anything right now because it's, um, again, dependent on uh, some of the another trails node. So if that's not actually running through the sequence, nothing's been built up and you don't see anything. But essentially, this is causing some stains to appear. Actually, you can see it a bit over here. All right. So even by itself, I think this is already a pretty cool effect. So if you just want to have something 2D without a fire, without smoke, here, pipe it into a saver and you're done. In any case, from there, we take it into a image plane 3D and pop this into a, a blend node and that feeds into a replace material. Um, we add a pop a couple of lights in and basically you get this. We render it out then and then what will happen is we separately, we basically with the same camera, we build a bit of a fire and with particles and that is being driven by a particle region input. So the particle region input basically tells the particle systems so for instance, the fire one and the smoke one here below as to form where it should emit the particles. And that by itself is based on a bit of the text, basically where the text is being built up. Now, uh, I had to tweak the timing a bit to make it look good. So you see here a couple of time speed nodes, a time speed node here, which basically says, okay, a delay of minus 10, basically it's 10 frames ahead. So that the fire is a bit ahead of everything 
but then the smoke I wanted that to be a bit later than the fire so that takes two off right so there's a delay of two compared to the fire okay so that's that uh, one uh, the smoke one uh, yeah similar to the fire uh, we merge the two together and then basically once you're done if I display it here then you see my computer crunching away and I'll speed this up a bit so there you go I had to speed up the video a bit but as you can see here the fire the smoke all composited together and all you need to do then is basically add a saver node save it out and you're done so if you're not really interested in changing anything at all right well I'm assuming you would at least want to change the text and of course I didn't distribute this uh, image with it um, so basically once you've changed the text changed maybe the font and uh, swapped out the image and all you need to do is basically render it out and it's set up to render out from 0 to 300 and you're done and hopefully you've got fun with it and as per always if you guys make something nice with it let me know you know drop a link to your uh, YouTube video or whatever uh, somewhere below and show us all what you've done um, of course this would all work very similarly in uh, DaVinci Resolve. I won't show that right now, but the essence is basically you drag in a fusion composition in the edit timeline, uh, make it a suitable length, length something like 10 seconds, and then, then on the fusion tab, import the composition and uh, connect this merge node to media out. Then uh, you would need to replace the background in a similar way. You would just drag it from the media, what is it called the media window drag it in and replace the background with the image of your liking so uh, hopefully you guys enjoyed this take care and see you guys later bye bye